It's a brand new year, and if you sometimes wonder what constellations and other objects are in the night sky, we'll have new planets and some special events to keep you busy. So just look up, and we'll walk you through the January sky tonight. For planets this month, Mars is front and center, high in the south next to Aries. Uranus and Neptune are out as well, but you will need a telescope to find them. And in the second half of the month, you might be able to spot Mercury just above the southwestern horizon right after sunset. Looking to our zodiac constellations, Aquarius the water carrier will start us off near the southwestern horizon. Higher up we have Pisces the fish, still keeping company with Cetus the sea monster. Almost directly overhead is Aries the ram, and coming back down to the east we have Taurus the bull. Don't forget to look for the Pleiades in his shoulder. And while not a zodiac, we can say hi to Auriga the charioteer, and the goat star Capella while we're here. Our newest constellation is Gemini the twins. We learned about the bright star Castor last month with our Geminid meteor shower. The second bright star is called Pollux, and it's an orange giant star. It's just a little brighter than Castor, and it's the closest star of its kind to our sun, being only a mere 34 light years away. And a recent discovery found that Pollux has an exoplanet orbiting around it. Just to the right of the twins is Orion the Hunter, who we briefly met last month, and is easily identified with the three stars in a row that make up his belt. Below his belt is what's called the sword, and if you look closely, you'll notice there are not just stars here. You'll get a better view through binoculars or a telescope, but there's a big fuzzy gas cloud here called the Orion Nebula. It's a giant stellar nursery where hydrogen gas is collecting and forming new stars. Orion has a couple of other bright stars to mention. At his right shoulder is a red supergiant named Betelgeuse. Check out our video from back in May to learn more about this fascinating star. Then, coming back down to his left knee or foot, is a hot blue star named Rigel. Blue stars are the hottest in the universe, with Rigel more than double the temperature of our sun. Just below Orion is the sneaky Lepus the Hare, and we can still spot the large river constellation Eridanus off his right knee. There are two bright stars coming up on the horizon as well, Sirius and Procyon, the dog stars, but we'll learn more about them next month. Moving north, now starting to re-emerge, is Ursa Major, the Big Bear. Her head and front legs are above the horizon, while her tail and back legs are still below. Ursa Minor, the Little Bear, is visible as always directly to our north, with the star Polaris marking our north celestial pole. Draco the Dragon is still visible just below Ursa Minor, though it is getting very close to the horizon. Moving back up a little, we have our royal family of Cepheus the King, Cassiopeia the Queen, Perseus the Hero, and Andromeda the Princess, along with Pegasus the Flying Horse. Finally, to round us out, we have the last constellation in our summer triangle, Cygnus the Swan setting to the northwest. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Space Bites, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Join us again next time and stay hungry!